TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 2nd of March, 2021. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff Department and Sheriff Nate Harmon for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature a suspicious person, an overdose, a potential stolen vehicle resulting in a warrant, and a public intoxication welfare check. To all of our fans in Ireland, we would like to say, Go Ramahagat! Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. up there by his mailbox. So I'm going in, I'm, I'm butt naked getting in my shower. I always weigh myself. Well, my blinds up in my bathroom back here. Here this guy comes behind my shed, walking along my street. I walked him, he went down in the weeds. And that guy got killed last year. I don't know if you know out front here. They ran over him. No, well, that. yeah, but he went towards that guy's house. Nobody's down there living there or nothing. And I don't know where he's at. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I, went, I drove down there, but I didn't go up the driveway. But I can't, you know, I can't see now. But it, I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying? Well, it, there's a screen goes down. And he went right where your light is. He went right on the other side of the screen. He went through the weeds. So that comes out. Uh -huh. So I wonder if he's staying at that house over there. I don't, them guys come in occasionally. He's got three sons, and they'll come in occasionally, but he might be broke in that house, yeah. I don't know the guy. He looked to be a glasses. I, I got a quick glimpse of him. Looked like he was balding in the front, uh, a little shorter than you, I guess about my height, maybe an inch or two taller. Uh, he's got dark clothing on, dark jeans and a dark shirt, jacket. It looks like a, one of them sweater or zip-up pullover hoodies. That's what he's got going in dark. Y'all yeah, go over there and check out the residence. What do you do over there? Yeah, okay. I'm going to ride down 11 and see if he walked down on 11, but he's in them weeds or at that house. Definitely over there. I'm gonna be out at the residence next door. It's gonna be the one directly next to your caller's house going further north. Told me it should be abandoned, but he believes the mail might be in here.
Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like a, rope path. Yeah, it's definitely a like trail. Trot across all the way. Uh -huh. I don't see why somebody would just be. Sure. If he's not there in that abandoned house, I don't see why he would have any reason to just stop hanging out in the woods. It's way too cold to be. That's what else is lurking. Chilly for that. I know you ain't going over there. That's uh, my uncle's place. Or one of my uncles, he's got a whole bunch of cameras and stuff over there and spotlights. Oh, 
CPR trying to get them. Inject some, what you do? <laughs> he said he took fentanyl. He said he was out. Dark animal. Not yet, not yet. Amos talking about that. I brought him out. I blew in him. I beat him on his face. I don't know if I'm going to hop off of here because I'm thinking uh, we've got some things to take care of. So was he driving? No, yeah, he was. Were you driving or was he driving? I'm driving. You're the driver? My stuff's on. Picked him up from his father. He's supposed to be going home to meet his mother so that we can take him off the rehab. Yeah. You want to grab the driver? Daddy gave it to him. He got it out of there before we left. Hey, morning. You hear me? You got any more dope on you? No. Uh, you got any needles on you? No. Call me, Jimmy County 3112, Reedsburg Road, Travel Road, 
I got you. So uh, I had to pick him up from his stepfather. I'm not going to pick him up. Okay. You what now, bro? You get it from your stepdad? Yeah. All right. So good. Let's get you some Narcan. I don't talk to you, okay? Let's go and sit back. There we go. Let's keep the airway in. Okay. Let's go. 
pretty good for somebody that's yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. So we'll just get stuff on Sounds good. Thanks. Yep. You can actually still see it. So we've, we've dealt with him four times in the last 10 days, so. Gotcha. Well, I got you guys here. Anybody got Narcan, I can take what's me to have on hand from now on. English are supposed to get me some. I ain't seen it yet. That's too yeah, overdosed. blonde dress, white crop top, black sweatpants, and white fuzzy slippers. Gotta love the fuzzy slippers. Did you used to have one? F1 50. Where are you coming from? I'll be right back. much my dad's just completely intoxicated and then he just he left our house and he was walking on the road so he just called so that he wouldn't like, get hit by a car so now he's in the bar i was trying to take him to rehab actually yeah i didn't know you were going to be here because i mean honestly there's not yeah. really anything i can do at the moment like i can't go in there and be like you got too much you gotta leave i can't do that um if you think that he's having the like an scary alcohol thing addiction, is like the problem is he was walking in the middle of the road and well, he, he's going to do it when he gets out. Will he uh, call you and ask for a ride when he's done or is there anyone? 
He refuses to get in the car because I'm going to take him to rehab. I got you. I mean, in order for you to take him to rehab, like I was saying, if you think that his alcohol drinking has, like, gotten to the point where he's an addict and, like, he's relying on it, um, you can file a mental hygiene petition on him. Um, mental hygiene petition. Yeah. Do you know, have you ever heard of Eastridge Mental Health? Okay, so what you do is you get in contact with Eastridge. You can look them up on Google. Um, they have a facility here in Berkeley. Uh, it's on, uh, it's there by James Rumsey. I can't think of the name. Let of me this. write this down. Yep. What was the yeah. place called? It's called Eastridge East Mental Health. So, I don't. So like, secure remain that way right now he's seeing like counselors through the VA and stuff so what they told my mom is it's really bad so they were saying if he gets really bad if we can have him go with us if he agrees to go we can just drop him off and he's like that and they'll find him a spot for a 60 day program and he agreed to go and then as soon as we're about to pull out of the house he's like well you have to take me to a bar first obviously i'm not going to do that mm -hmm. so then he just starts walking down the road and you know he's in the middle of the road he's going to get hit by a car mm -hmm. yeah what, what you need to do though is um tell them where the they'll ask you for this information um what they'll do, they'll send paperwork over to us. It's called a mental hygiene petition. We'll take that, and then wherever he's at, we'll come pick him up, take him to the sheriff's office. There'll be a mental hygiene hearing. There'll be a commissioner come in, and uh, they'll sit down, talk with him, evaluate him, ask him a bunch of questions. Um, and if they feel like he needs to be committed, like if his alcohol addiction's gotten that bad, and they will, um, he'll be assigned to a there's a bunch of them we use it could be in virginia or it could be down in like huntington west virginia down near kentucky so um but that step one is getting in touch with each ridge and then we can actually uh, take at that point it doesn't matter if he wants to go or not like there's that paperwork order uh okay. written up by the court ordering him to be you know, institutional is there any way you can just talk to him and see if maybe he'll come tonight I'm will, just really will, scared. Will he talk to me? I'm sure he'll talk to you. Okay. Is he going to get upset if you walk in? or? I doubt it. Okay. You want to show me which one he is? Look at me. Look at me. 
I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I really am sorry. I just get back into it. Oh, I right here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. 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 They love me so much. You better go. They do this. What's that? Good luck. Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry that I had. You would do that to me? Yeah, okay. I didn't do anything. I'm just here to talk to you. We just want to talk. Okay. Yes. Let's talk. She she's just worried about you. That's why she called me. Didn't do anything wrong. I know. I didn't. I didn't. Never said you did. She's just concerned because you're out here walking in the cold and you've had some to drink. We don't want you to get hit by a car. We want you to go get some help, Dad. <laughs> yeah. She, she she just wants. You to see get my help. you see my jacket. There's no way on this planet I'm gonna get cold. So. Okay. We don't want you to get hit by a car. She, and I'm not, and I'm, you know, I went, I went to a bar. My family is hell bent. I don't mean this in a bad way, okay? But my family is hell bent on sending me to rehab. Mm -hmm. They are hell bent on this. You think right. you think maybe that wouldn't be the best thing, or like, uh, you think no, it might help? Or? No, I think what my family needs is to get their fucking head out of their ass because guys drink once in a while, right? I'm not I'm not crazy, but these people, these people are are crazy. So we have a difference of opinion. Gotcha. Do you think maybe your drinking is getting out of control or no? No. Are you no. are you going to anything for that right now? I did. Through the VA? I did. I did. But you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um I, and you know as well as I do, you cannot go to rehab and then come back to the sh same sh hole, right? And expect it and, and expect change. So, you know, I'm, you listen to me. I love my family. I love my family. I've never hurt anybody in my family. Never. But if, if they think for one fucking second that I would do something bad. It's 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 a terrible thought. I would never, never, ever hurt my family, anybody in my family. Dad, you were drinking and driving earlier. My brother already. Oh my fucking god. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I you had to listen to, to me. Down. Listen to me. You, uh, you're, you're inane in your thoughts. Okay, I don't have a car. I live yeah. for my kids. You live off three run, right? Huh? You live yeah. off three run road. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and I live in the most peaceful fucking neighborhood. I mean, I I researched everything. I I'm a I'm a fucking maniac about that, shit. right? But in any case, in the last ten years, you look at the crime on Three Run Road, and it's like zilch. <laughs> and and so I'm like. Oh, this is a great place to live. 
uh, about this house. And I just, these people, these, I'm sorry. What the f are you doing? He's with TV with this guy. It's for their YouTube channel. Oh my God. So anyway, so I'm just saying, I live in the most peaceful, loving neighborhood. And and I'm getting torn down. I'm literally getting ripped to my shreds. Because I had, you know, here's how it started. Okay. I had three beers. Three beers. What, today? Yeah, today. I had three beers. And they're like, that is unacceptable. Because you drove Michael's car after three beers. Oh my God. And oh my God. Oh my God. No, right. we're not talking about three beers. Are I'm you, talking about three beers after. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She's making it sound like, okay. oh, I drank and I drove. Got, I got a question for you there, real quick. Are you, I, are you willing to let her take you home? Like, drive you home when you're done? Or you're they home, they or? don't want me to come home. They want me to go to rehab. And I came to a bar and I was like, you want me to go to. F I'm going to have to. Fucking yeah, I already, drink. I already well, you got the drinking out of I already explained to her. Let's just go. The yeah, yeah, make no mistake about it. I I was explaining to her in the parking lot here before I came in to talk to you. Um, like, she can't just forcibly take you to rehab. Um, yeah. I explained to her the. Yeah, how it works I'm, I'm, the I'm, county. yeah I understand that. Yeah. What, what she'll. I, I have. And you know what? Here, I, I, you're, I, I'm not done yet. You're a deputy. Let me, let me finish real quick. I'm almost done, I swear. I, so what I explained to her was the process she has to go through to get you into rehab. Um, it goes through East Ridge Mental Health Center. Um, I'm assuming she's going to be contacting them tomorrow. If she does, what they'll do is they'll do a paperwork through the court. They'll give it yes. to us. And then we'll I'll, I'll, I'll be way faster than you. That's all right. Um, we'll, we'll you know, I, 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 ha I have to go back to that family, to that fucking shithole. Mm. Okay? So make no mistake about it. I can I can be in rehab faster than you can ever imagine. And all I asked that little girl was if if you guys want you know, I love you. I, I appreciate I, that. I love cops. <laughs> My brother's a cop. Retired. You know, after thirty five years. My sister is a cop after retired after forty years okay mm -hmm. make no i love cops okay mm -hmm. and i and i have a drinking problem i know i have it i know without a shadow of a doubt okay but i will not ever 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 let them dictate to me i got you do you understand that part? Yeah, I understand. There's I'm, a process to, to force you, or you could go through the VA. You know what? Here's the thing. All you have to do is shut up. I don't. I don't mean that in a bad way. I got you. Are you Are you okay with her taking you home? I know you said they don't want you home, but I'm I think I think in this not point, okay. She... I'm not okay with me uh, just paying sixteen or seventeen bucks, and uh, and not finishing my drink and that's what i'm not okay, okay with because i i can't make you leave i'm just giving you some advice and listen I think, to me I, I i think maybe it would be best i left. know what you're saying yeah yeah but you want to stay here longer i do okay yeah my family has i i you know my family made their decision i made my decision is one of them and they're going to be able to give you a ride home it doesn't matter i i I, live I know. I know. A it's mile from here. I know. I can walk. I know it's walking distance, but are you sure you're all right to if walk? I am absolutely. I am absolutely okay to walk. Okay. I've done it before. Hey, buddy, listen. I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate that. 
you know. I just hope you find me you know, one way or another. I know, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. It sucks, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. It's like going through a divorce. It's terrible. No one ever wants to do it, but you have to do it, right? Yeah. So that, I'm, that, I'm, I'm walking down that street. Is that why you've been drinking so much lately? Oh, absolutely. Divorce recently? Absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind. Gotcha. He's still married. They're still together. Okay. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some I mean, point. her best hope is that, oh, one day. <laughs> that it's not going to happen. So don't either way, just get some help. So in either in either case, yeah, just let me go in here and have a fucking few beards. I'm gonna go into rehab. I swear to you, I promise yep, you, I'm, I will the go. Only, the only reason I I told <clears throat> this girl, I literally told her, I will go into rehab. I got you. After I drink well like i said you are perfectly welcome to go back in there i cannot keep you from going back in there i just wanted to talk to you and let you know like hey buddy. what i told her and what could potentially I, be happening in you the know future. i love i i love my daughter and she deserves all the respect she has tried really hard but no she can't stop the train i got you you understand yeah all right okay so if I'm free to go, yeah, you're free to go. All right. Thank you, sir. You're I Let appreciate me know when it. You're done. I'll be in the parking lot. Don't leave with me. Your mom would have left me. Oh, I'm going back. I'll just wait here in the parking lot. Yeah, I wonder if I don't know. Because it seems like he's got them guys in there really riled up. I don't want. Not that I'm scared of too, it's just I have my husband in the car too, so at least I won't be like alone if something happens. Yeah, I guess when if you want to wait here, I mean if he still says you like I mean you can't like forcibly put him in your car, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. I was hoping more well my brother actually called you I was just hoping that. but I was just hoping, like, maybe he really does love me. So I was hoping, like, you could just kind of talk. There's no talking sense in him right Well, now, it's though. also a lot more difficult when he's that intoxicated. Yeah, I understand. Because literally everybody in there right now is just They're absolutely him up. blasted. Yeah. So. I, I mean, if, if you're dead set on advice. waiting for him and seeing if he'll change his mind, by all means. But if stuff starts going sideways again... Like it was in the bar, Paulus will come back out. All right. All right. All right, thank you. Yeah.